guys, Drew here from Lone Fox. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a really fun IKEA hacks for you. And if you might notice, my hair's a lot darker. I got it dyed like a warm honey blonde, which the hairstylist did such a great job at, my friend Dustin. At the time I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I love it. And then when I got home and restyled it myself, I was like, yikes. I don't know, guys. Like, it looks pretty on camera, kinda. Ew wrinkled forehead. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep this color. I don't think I am. I think I'm going to change it back on Thursday. I'm back to my platinum blonde that I've had for a while, which I just love that color. I think it really, really suits me and I've just been working with it and loving it. I was walking around Ikea with my friend James the other day and I found three new Ikea hacks that I wanted to share with you guys and I'm so excited about these. I actually did have four in the first place, but I ended up only doing three in this video because I need to order something for the next one. So if you do want to see a fourth Ikea hacks video on this channel, definitely give this one a thumbs up. You have two other ones of these videos that actually got so many views you guys seem to love them and i will link those um in the cards up above if you want to check those out but without further ado let's just get into these projects this first project here i thought was so innovative and fun so what i used was the hajor tron pot and the brunsta lampshade along with some e6000 black paint and a paintbrush so i used the bottom side of the pot which is typically like the water catcher and i flipped it over and i'm gluing the top side of this brunsta lamp pendant directly to the bottom of the pot so what I'm using is E6000. I cut the corner off, by the way, just to get the E6000 out because sometimes the top dries. And I'm using a ton of E6000 and just making sure that this is really going to be cemented and fastened because this is going to be holding up a plant. And um, I just put a ton of it on there because we're going to be covering this with black paint later. So no worries. You can fold over your E6000 corner and use it again later. And then this is the following day. I actually used a bit of black paint just to cover all of it. And you guys, this was so super secure. If you let the E6000 just dry overnight and you wake up, it's going to be legit cemented on there. So use a bit of black paint and painted it all on there. Let it dry. You can put your pot in the top and I kept it just um, the neutral tone for a little bit of contrast. And that is your new planter. Next up, we're making this decoupage tray, and I used the clack tray from Ikea along with some magazines, scissors, matte Mod Podge, and a paintbrush. So what I did was go through a couple of magazines I had laying around my apartment and just pulled out anything that was interesting to me. So like this tiger printed elephant, uh, these really cool words with a yellow background. Uh, I found this Louis Vuitton sort of background that said consume cool on it, and just lots of random images and just finds inside of magazines or anything that you might have personal mementos, Polaroid photos. I even ended up up in the end adding some personal things i did a ticket from an oc fair that i went to just lots of stuff you can decoupage on here and keep in mind also you can add as you go so if you don't have a lot of images to start with you can all just decoupage the ones you do have and then later on down the future you can add more to it cover up what you don't like anymore and just keep adding because you can honestly never have too many things decoupage on this tray so um, i cut out these really cool pair of gucci sneakers as well and something that i definitely recommend when you're doing decoupage like this is to cut around some of the images so don't make everything squares. Definitely create some that are a little bit more organic shapes and cut around them, leaving a little bit of an edge. I think that really creates that magazine-esque look. And then what I did was use my phone just to take a photo of the placement that I had so I can start actually decoupaging. What I do is just add a very generous layer of Mod Podge to the back side, and then I place it down on my tray where I want it to go. And then I'll use a bit more Mod Podge and go around the whole top edge of the project just to really make sure that it's fastened on there. And I used a couple images of Saroy Ronan because she's one of my favorite actresses ever. I love The Lovely Bones. It's one of my favorite movies, even though a lot of people think it's creepy. I really uh, just enjoy like the cinematography and the coloring and the graphics, everything about that movie, the music, the acting, the casting. It's all amazing. I just love that one. And then also Lady Bird. She just stars in a lot of movies that I really love. So I wanted to definitely make her prominent and I had her Vogue cover. So I definitely added that in there and I just decoupaged everything down. And that's basically all you have to do. Just make sure to go over everything in the end with a lot of Mod Podge just to lock it and seal it all in. Put it on your nightstand, put some perfumes on it, store some books on it, whatever you want to use it for. Just a 
quick disclaimer before I start this next project. I know a lot of people are gonna say that this is not fire safe, but do keep in mind that it's honestly the same exact thing as having an extension cord touching a rug or an extension cord under your bed, touching a piece of clothing or just touching your bedding in general. Uh, this is completely coated in plastic. So if there is for some reason a spark or something that happens where this thing blows up, it's probably going to light something on fire anyway. So having this little bit of cord around the wire is not going to affect it. It is coated, there's no live wire showing. So do keep that in mind. What you're gonna need for this project is a copla extension cord, some brass spray paint, hot glue, macrame cord, some tape, and scissors. So what I started off by doing was taking my tape and just taping off the front side of this uh, extension cord because I didn't want anything to get in those actual outlet holes. Then I also taped off the little clicker at the top. I brought it outside and gave it a nice spray painted brass touch. So I sprayed it with my 14 karat brass spray paint and let that dry, of course. And then I peeled off those tapes sort of as a mask just to expose the actual outlets. And next, what you're going to do is use your macrame cording just to tape it on the actual cord. And I did make sure to kind of uh, keep it away from the edge. So I kept it about half of an inch away from the actual edge or the start of the extension cord. And then I just wrapped the macrame cording all the way down using hot glue and just going about at an inch section each time. So I did about an inch of glue, then I would wrap the cord around a couple of times. And this is just a great way to create an extension cord that you would like to actually be seen. So, cause a lot of the times you don't want your extension cords to be shown. So I thought this was a great way to just create something that added a little bit of focal aspect to your living room or your bedroom or something. And that is the completed project. So guys, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed and it gave you a couple of ideas to incorporate in your own personal room decor. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. And yeah, you can check out my channel for more DIY and home videos. I post them every single week. Make sure to subscribe and also follow me on my personal Instagram at I'm Drew Scott. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.